Hello there. If you like to read and you've maybe thought, well, I think I'm making some mistakes or I can improve my reading. This might be the video for you. Why? Hello guys, I'm Lex. Welcome to the channel. This is why you're probably making some mistakes. I'm going to tell you really quickly what I've found in my experience to be some, if you could call them, mistakes. Why do I quote that? Because some mistakes for me might not be mistakes for other people, you know? What I find mistake in this sense is friction to keep reading and enjoy reading. That is my definition of a reading mistake here. Okay, so the first one, reading to memorize. I mean, it's great and amazing. I've done it just memorizing facts and dates and quotes and then just dropping them in there and people be like, oh my God, you're so cool. How do you know all these dates? You're such a history buff. You're so fun at parties. Yes, I know. But in the end, is memorizing helping us understand our world or enjoying things in a better light? Or is it simply being a burdensome task that is causing friction and interfering with your reading, which I believe is what happens in school most of the time. You know, they tell you, read this and learn this date and that and read this and memorize this name and that date and then these lines. You're like, God damn it. Why am I memorizing all this shit? It doesn't even matter. And well, I ended up not trying to understand or grasp the concept or idea behind that. So read to understand, man. Like, okay, does this make sense to me? Does that make sense to the world I'm reading in? What is the idea or cool thing that can be get from here? Just simply experience the moment like, you know, poetry. If we try to expand and get some idea from poetry, some conscious thought, what are we gonna get? Perhaps nothing, perhaps it's an act of of experiment, of, of experience in the moment, and that's it. Depends on the text, right? Perhaps it depends on the context of what we're reading. But reading to memorize, that has been something that I struggled with and didn't really make me enjoy whatever it is that I was reading. Second of all, reading what you should. Okay, so there's gonna be a lot of people in our life that will tell us to do this or do that and read this and read that. Why? Why do we have to do that? Tiring, you know? It might happen to you. Have you felt that? You have to read this book before whatever and analyze the text and do this and do that. Or, or read this because you need to really grasp the concept. I mean, curiosity, I mean, your curiosity is there for a reason, you know? Trust yourself. You're gonna be drawn to whatever brings you some kind of joy or even deep motivation that you can't even understand, but you're being drawn to it for something. I mean, it might be a wrong notion and then you read it and then you recognize, oh my God, how could I have read this? But you are choosing for yourself. You are thinking for yourself and that is simply amazing in my eyes. And then if you do read what you love, you will end up reading more stuff. Isn't that what we want to keep on reading? Maybe enjoy some deeper texts along the way. Of course, there are like complicated things, more complicated than others. And perhaps we don't have the level to grasp those things yet. So we need to start by, you know, step one. And then maybe we read some stuff there that draws your attention. And then the concept just pops up and then we're, bah, we're gonna get drawn to a level two text. I mean, I'm just creating this level structure, but. And then you're gonna go learning a little bit more and then you're gonna start jumping to more complicated notions, concepts, ideas, or whatever, because the mind can't really teleport from one point to a really far away one like take little small steps. So that's about reading, you know, maybe trusting that whenever the student is ready, the master will appear. I love telling this to myself. When I start to get like a really strong pull from one of the books, I wasn't ready to read it until that pull just took over me. <laughs> and um, well, the third one, letting sunk costs take over. What do I mean by this? Reading a whole book that you're not really enjoying all the way because we're sometimes drawn to, you know, this vanity metric of books read, intelligence, all commented, or, you know, I'm, I'm really clever because I read thousand books this weekend. Yeah, I'm so fucking cool, guys. I did it. Huh? So what? I mean, I didn't really enjoy any single of them, but I read them. Fuck you. So what? I mean, like, if you don't like something, yeah, give it some time because I believe there are some books that really start slow and you gotta give them like a little chance to pick up the pace. So there's this rule that I, I like about, um, I like from Ryan Holiday. He says, it's 100 pages minus your age, the opportunity that you have for this book. All right, so I don't know. 
maybe 70 pages. Give it 70 pages. If you don't like it, drop it. If it's not really caught you, drop it. Life is too short to be reading shit that you're not really interested in. This is a true complicated task, I know, because there are some great books that have contributed a lot to society that, well, I start reading and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Why, why am not, why am I not understanding anything? Why is this not catching my attention? Is there something wrong with me? But I mean, Maybe I'm not ready for it. So I'm just gonna go back to whatever draws me attention. Drop it for the moment being. Or, or, or sometimes, I mean, if there's like a fucking deadline or something, I might read it all the way through, but I don't really think that helps in the end. Or maybe it does. Shit, guys, I'm just, ah, uh, I'm, I'm contradicting myself here, but I don't know. There are some books that I have really pushed through and at the end, something just caught my attention. But, well, time-wise, time-wise, maybe we should drop the books and then see if they catch your attention further on. I'm really struggling with that one. This is why I make these videos. Things that I try to get here are things that I would like to remember, perhaps recommend myself in the future, so I don't know. What do you guys think about them? Let me know. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It helps me out. And, well, if you're at the end, or I mean at this point in the video, you probably enjoyed it as well, so you're getting something out of it, and I would appreciate it. And, well, you would appreciate my further videos. <laughs> so, well, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.